Hi all, welcome to the first part in this series on how to create your very own text editor in Go programming language. So in this video, we'll create the actual project and write some code to import and initialize the Turnbox Go library by NSF, which is an absolutely fascinating thing that allows you to have the cross-platform environment uh, for your terminal-based applications. And in our case, we have a text editor and that's the perfect weapon of choice uh, for this particular Go. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm supposed to be writing the entire text editor within this particular text editor, which is called Ego, for those of you who didn't know this yet. So I say Ego, and to create a new file, I just say e.go. And here I have a new file, and I press E to enter the edit mode to actually be able to, imp uh, to input some text. And here I say package main, so create main package here. Then I want to import OS, so that's needed to exit on errors from the program. Then import FMT, uh, that's the standard utility to print lines in Go, so we'll use it to print uh, error messages if something goes wrong before we exit. Then we want to import the term box itself, and we're supposed to be importing this from the, Give, the GitHub repo. So github.com slash nsf, which is the name of the user who's creating this, and the term box dash go. That's the library. And I also want to import uh, another one. So the rune with. So github.com and uh, met tn. And it call, it's called gone, go rune with, like this. Now let's define the main function here. So I can simply say func main, uh, and the only uh, routine it, this is supposed to be calling would be the run editor. So run editor would initialize the turnbox library and uh, also uh, would provide the, uh, would provide the main loop. So here we have the func function run editor, and this is supposed to be doing the following. So um, catching the error, so I'm creating this error variable, and I assign uh, the term box dot in it. So if something goes wrong uh, with initialization, we can say if error is not equal to nil. In this case, uh, we just print the error message. So if fmt print line and the error itself. And then we say os.exit with a status go one, which means that something has gone wrong. Then if everything is okay, we want to print the message. We don't yet have this function, but we'll create this just right in a moment. So let's say uh, column 25, uh, row 11, and then the term box uh, color default. So this is the foreground color and call it from the capital call it default and the background is also going to be turnbox color default and the actual string so let's say ego or uh, a bare bones text editor all right um so to make sure that this string would be uh available on the screen, we need to flush it. So I can say turnbox dot flush. Flush into screen is absolutely essential. Then we'll wait for whatever user uh, key press. So turnbox dot poll event is listening to the keyboard input. And then we just say turnbox dot close uh, so that we restore the terminal back to its initial state when we exit the program to avoid ruining the console. Right, now let's implement the function print message. So I can say func print message. And it's supposed to be taking the following arguments. Um, it's supposed to be taking um, the column, the row, um, foreground, background, colors meaning, and the message. And uh, this is the type of string. Uh, this is the type of turnbox uh, dot attribute, and this is the type of int. 
Now let's look over the message string. So I can simply say for well, number and the character itself. Uh, let's assign the range of the message and here we say dumbbox dot set cell so i'm using the set cell method here uh if you do not want to provide the foreground and background attributes and you want just to print the default uh with default foreground and background uh, you want to print a character to screen of given coordinates. You can use the set char method instead, but we're supposed to be using the set cell here. So it takes the current column, current row, then uh, the foreground color, then the background color, and then, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, and here we have the char here. So again, uh, color, uh, column row the chart to print then the foreground color and then the background color and now to make sure that we uh, do nicely with the Unicode characters we can say column plus equals and then the rune width uh, dot rune width of the character like this and if I did everything properly they should now compile and run so let's give it a try so escape to go to the view mode, W to write files and quit. So now we have this e.go, so we can cat it to make sure it's over in there, clear. Now, um, in order to build this project, I first need to run the command go uh, mod in it and the mod name is ego. So I just created this go mode file which is good and now after this I can say go build uh, output file ego on Windows you can say ego.exe um, I don't need this uh, and then the source file e.go and now it should uh, download all the libraries that it needs and then actually compile like build this entire project so let's give it a try okay seems like everything works so we now have the executable file ego so let's run it ego and yeah we get our turn box library being initialized and the message has been printed which means uh everything's working now if i press, press any key it just drops back so see you in the next spot until then and cheers